and then he goes goes to sleep. I'm like, wow. A true champion who wound up homeless, depressed. The story of Webster's decline was revealed on ESPN, and then the local newspapers. He was for forging 19 prescriptions for Ritalin, which he used to combat the erratic behavior caused by his damage. I think he was embarrassed. He was a leader on the team, and he was Mike Webster. And then to be down to a place of poverty, a place where you know your brain can't function to finish a sentence. Um, without some help from Ritalin or or whatever you need to to function for a short period of time. For Iron Mike, TV interviews became impossible. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm just trying to find. Yeah, well, trauma. Everybody went through trauma as a kid. I'm not saying I was different than that. I'm just saying the things we do to one another. Okay. Uh, hell, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just tired and confused right now. That's why I say it. I, I can't really, I can't say it the way I want to say it. I could, I could say, I could answer this real easy at, at other times, but right now I'm just tired. Maybe the saddest I ever heard him say was when someone saw my dad and I, aren't you Mike Webster? And he said, I used to be. I, I think that was really how it felt because he really was. He, he wasn't the same person. Uh, it, was, it was like, you know, a picture of him that was just shattered into a million pieces. 